Okay, I think it's going. I've made one of these in a while because my other computer's been down. But uh, this is for principles, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, making some of the threaded connections in the uh, rapid prototyping machine in the, in the fused deposition modeling uh, machine. So for those who are not in the class and just happen to be watching this video, um, we're, we're talking about making some components in a uh, 3D printer that's creating an ABS part using this uh, fused deposition modeling. It's a Stratasys like dimension 3D print or something like that. It's a pretty typical one. Um, so in this project, there might be some uh, desire to make threaded connections. Uh, and so I tried to make a, a set of parts, basically a lead screw and a, a nut to go on it. So uh, in doing this, you know, I, I figured I'd first take a stab at doing the, the Acme threads. So we've talked about this. Let's see if I can get this on here. Sorry for being low tech, but I can't really get the whole board on there. So when I look at the Ac Acme threads, you know, and I post some of this stuff uh, from Machinery Handbook on the Blackboard site, you know, first I tried making the uh, sort of a conventional um, Acme thread geometry. And what you find is for uh, uh, shafts about this dimension where we might be looking at for this gripper project, you know, the, the, the thread width is pretty small and probably not what we want to... It would have a lot of difficulty in, in um, fabricating in the right prototype machine. So I modified a geometry. It's a little non-standard, but it's basically a 60-degree uh, pit... A six, I'm sorry, 60-degree face angle, and it's about a quarter-inch pitch. And the important thing is... Ignore my phone. Is that uh, the clearance... The, the clearance diametrically is uh, 20 thou. So I kept it at 20 thou. And you can see here, basically, that's the clearance we're talking about there, okay? That's 20 thou diametrically, uh, both on the, the crown and the bottom. Um, and that actually seems to work pretty well. So you really, you know, if you look at the, let's see how good I can put this up here. Will it do it? Right back. No, it's not going to focus that well. But obviously these, these parts were grown in this orientation. So you see the stepping, rastering, through this uh, depth here. And what that means is on the tops, we kind of have like a flat and then better rounding on the sides, but a more exaggerating stepping on the top and bottom. Also, if you look, I should probably hand this into class. Let's see. I think if nothing else, you can see, even though it's not focusing very well, if you look real close, you know where my hair isn't, uh, that there is some um, jaggedness in the internal thread as well. So with the 20 thou clearance, when I first put it together, I really had to force it to get it through. And that's because there was a lot of flash on here. But then actually I went to a, a very boring meeting and I spent the past hour of that meeting, just kind of working the screw back and forth. And actually what you can see is that it, it, it seems to do pretty well. It threads from both sides completely through. I mean, it's not as good. There's still a lot of sliding friction. I can't really spin the nut out. Well, actually, it's not too bad, actually. Let's do it this way. Ah, let's get the right direction. You know, it doesn't really spin out like it would if I had a well-machined uh, metal lead screw, but it's not bad, okay? So I think that's what I'd recommend. If you want to keep the pitch such that it's like at least a quarter-inch pitch, uh, the 60-degree face angle is not bad, uh, the tooth angle, but I think the important thing is to have at least 20 thou um, diametric clearance, maybe even a little bit more, maybe 20, 25 thou. You know, and as the more I work this, I'm getting a little slop in it too, but I think that's pretty reasonable for our needs. Okay? All right.